Hey girl. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Baylor, I love that you're excited. It's so fun. Hey, we check on your phone and just make sure that you can let us know if you can hear us. Mm -hmm. I just got the alert that it went live. So. Oh, you did? Hi, Krista. Oh, good. They can hear. Awesome. Hi, Jess. Hi, Jordan. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. Oh, thank you, Baylor. You're cute. Y'all are so cute. I love you all so much. So here's what Kevin and I are feeling. Can you come closer so we can kind of both get in? I need to find out. Hi, Camila. I need to find out um, next time if we could do it sideways because... No, can't do it now. Okay, so I'm wanting to, oh, maybe I could do this. There we go. Wanting to um, just bless you all. That's what I'm feeling is just to say, oh, hi, Brittany. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I got your testimony about m m baby Mac at the altar. Praise the Lord. You need to have a bowel movement. You do it at the altar. We don't take that for granted, do we? That is not a small thing. That's the glory. That's the glory, Kevin said. <laughs> yeah, we want to bless you all. So we're here in Mount Juliet, and we're, our boys are about to play football. <clears throat> and um, we're in the parking lot, and we just wanted to come on, read the scripture, and bless you all. I'm feeling such a um, so much love for everyone at our church and everyone who watches these regularly and wants to be closer to Jesus. Like that is not something to be taken lightly. Like I know many of you express your thankfulness for us and gratitude that we're willing to do this. And I wanna say, I have so much gratitude and thankfulness to the Lord that there are people who want to hear more about the Lord, who want to study His Word together, who want to be closer to God. Um, and I, I want to encourage you with this, and, and I will probably be talking about this a lot more uh, in the near future, but this morning I went to spend some time with the Lord very intentionally. I walked behind our house and I just went to meet with the Lord. I know He is with us everywhere, but I just wanted to to talk with him personally and I really expected to hear from him and so I was saying to him Lord I'm 48 <laughs> I'm just a girl with a mom and a dad um, I'm, I'm a, oh hi y'all hello I'm a girl with a is that Paul is that Tiffany's Paul hi honey um, with a mom and a dad two brothers, one here, one with you, God, um, a husband and two sons. I was just laying my life out before him. You know, I know he knows everything, but it was important for me just to like, just be really honest and open before him. Hi, honey. Hi, Paul. I'm glad you're on here. And I said, I really want to love you like you want to be loved. And I had started that prayer early earlier this morning. I don't want to just... Is that your friend, Karis? Yeah. Oh, there's a little girl. How old is she? She's three. She calls me best friend. She's three years old. She would have nothing to do with Kevin at first. And now she's looking for him, I'm sure. She calls him best friend. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh, well. Hi, Tiffany. Oh. So I was telling the Lord early this morning, and I can continue to end of that prayer time I said I want to love you the way you want to be loved I want my life to be pleasing to you I really want my life to be pleasing to you Lord like from 28 to 48 went so fast that 58 will be here 68 will be here so fast like 20 years went by like it was nothing you know and I'm just like I want every day to count i don't want to just be down here dazed out focused sometimes and not others i want my time on earth to please you lord 
You too, Shy, right? Yeah, I'm glad you care about this at 24, Jordan. I really am. I, I cared at 28 too, but I didn't know how. I just didn't know God was actual. And so, this was just, I'm just trying to share from the depths of my heart. I'm just like, oh Lord, I want every day. I don't want to waste some days and be focused two days or just be focused at church or whatever. And I said, I just felt like the Lord said, um, I felt like he asked me, what parts of your life do you think are pleasing to me? Have I told you this yet? I've told you this right. Um, which parts of your life do you think are pleasing to me? And I started thinking over my whole life kind of just really quickly. And I realized that my mind, um, what is this already melting again? Oh yeah. <laughs> I love you, Baylor. I realized my mind was naturally going toward, um, times when I'm praying with people, they're having, um, revelations about his love for them, being delivered, healed, miracles, whatever. That's where my mind was going. And maybe that's where your mind goes when you think, I want to be pleasing to God if I could just, like, do that or, I don't know, feed the homeless or you probably have an idea of what would be pleasing to God. And so then I asked the Lord, I, I said, well, what do you say? Like, what parts of my life have been pleasing to you? And instantly I felt the Holy Spirit say, right now is pleasing to me. You coming to be with me is pleasing me. I'm like, oh, wow. I only saw, like I teach that, that I encourage you all in that, but I did not realize, like I was seeing me coming to him in a, a desperate attempt really and truly a desperate attempt to find out what's pleasing to him so I could do more of it. <laughs> yes, you did tell me. <laughs> I wanted to know, like, oh, God, show me, show me. You know, I'm like, is it more lies? Is it reading the Bible more? Like, what is it, Lord? What, which parts are you pleased with so I can do that more? <laughs> and he said, right now, is pleasing to me you spending time with me you coming to be with me is pleasing to me wow well wow. yes yes it's being with him oh man he told me that a couple months ago remember there's a live where I, right before the live I went to the restroom and I said Lord um, yeah tear emojis times a million yes uh, saying, I want to, I want to please you, Lord. And he said, you being with me, you already know what pleases me being with me. And it's so interesting how often I need to hear that from him. So I think I need a sign. I need to paint it on my wall or something. Um, that going to be with him is not just to find out how to please him. Being with him, hi Candace, is pleasing to him. Oh, man. What do you think about that? Any thoughts? <laughs> oh. It's nothing better than just being with him. We can never work our way to earn anything that pleases him. How can we, have, how can we do something that would please him except love him and be with him and enjoy him and let him enjoy us? Not the us we think that he needs, you know? And I, you know, I know that technically, like, with my brain, but I think I still am like, oh, that's my favorite time is being with him. But I, I don't always remember how he feels about being with us. So, and I, I want to say, oh my goodness, I went to, um, I had an appointment this morning with the surgeon and I won't go into all the details, but what looked like be thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. like a few hundred dollars and not really a big deal at all. 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 And and I've learned a lot of lessons that I'll be sharing. I'm, I'm writing things. <laughs> some things down yes thank you Camila thank you for that text I I was so overwhelmed with that just offers of help and people concerned and that's just so kind um yeah I'm gonna try to journal a lot of things that I found out about myself through this and about God through this because I'm sure some of you will be able to relate and it'll it'll minister to you I want to read um Mark I'm just going to read a few verses right now. Mark 4, 23. Oh, sure. If you can be in the picture. You're good. Go ahead. Oh, honey. Mark 4, 23. <clears throat> if anyone has ears to hear, let him hear and heed my words. Then he said to them, this is in the Amplified. Pay attention to what you hear. By your own standard of measurement, and the brackets say that is to the extent that you study spiritual truth and apply godly wisdom, it will be measured to you, and you will be given even greater ability to respond. And more will be given to you besides. For whoever has a teachable heart to him more understanding will be given. And whoever does not have a yearning for truth, even what he has will be taken away from him. Wow. I wanna read that one more time. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear and heed my words. Then he said to them, pay attention to what you hear. By your own standard of measurement, that is to the extent that you study spiritual truth and apply godly wisdom, it will be measured to you. And you will be given even greater ability to respond and more will be given to you besides. For whoever has a teachable heart, to him more understanding will be given. And whoever does not have a yearning for truth, even what he has, will be taken away from him. So even with this, I want to say the fact that you'll come to church, if you if you come to our church, and you come so often, or you're on this live stream, or whoever's listening, and wherever you go, if you yearn to learn more about him, you want to be with him more, you want to understand um, spiritual principles to apply for godly wisdom, you're blessed and you will be given even more ability to understand and I believe even more desire it creates more desire more hunger for the word so you are blessed to have that and and if you're listening you're like I don't think I have that then ask the Lord to give you a desire to know him more and to understand his word more to actually to have your eyes opened to Jesus, to have your ears open to Jesus. I'm gonna be sharing more soon about meditation because, oh man, the Lord personally sent to me a scripture three times over the past couple days to meditate on and meditating on Psalm 27 one and especially um, a few verses toward the end. I, I can't remember the exact verse right now, but where it says, I would have despaired had I not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh, wow. I went to bed with so much peace, so much certainty that I will see his goodness. And then I woke up to the story of King Hezekiah. And it was his poem of praise right after God healed him. And he was talking about, he didn't know if he was going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living again. So... Oh, we want to have certainty that we will see His goodness. And His goodness is not predicated on our goodness. He is always good. And He's worthy of our praise. He deserves our trust. He desires our love. So I just want to bless you. 
bless you bless you we're praying for y'all we're so excited that people have a desire for jesus <laughs> that you have a desire to understand you have a desire to read his word and apply what you're hearing um kevin will you help me pray we just let's yeah. just pray for them right now in jesus name thank you lord i thank you right now god for putting desire everyone who's listening who has any kind of desire for you we know that is a work of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you for it, God. We did not make ourselves hunger for you. We didn't make ourselves desire you. We did not make ourselves love your word. You have put that desire and love in our hearts. The desire for you, you have placed there. Lord, we ask for more. more Lord. We ask for more. Lord, I thank you, God, for people who love you and want to love you more. Yes, thank Jesus. you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, God, for the desire. We can only, Father, we can only love you as you, you give us the ability to love you. And I pray, Lord, that we would, instead of being little uh, orphan children, that we would understand that we have been adopted yes. into you, and therefore there is no difference. We are, we are yours. Thank you, Jesus. And so, Father, I pray that we would receive your love, that we would actually receive um, all that you have for us because you paid for all of it. And I pray, God, that we would stop acting like we are on the outside, that we would stop acting like if we could just find our way into the inside. But as long, as long as we're in you, we can't get any closer to the inside. And so, Father, I pray that we would recognize you in all that we say and all that we do. Father, I bless each person on this call. Yes, I ask, Lord. Lord, that you would just touch them and fill them. I pray, God, that their desire for you would so grow. Yes, Lord. And, Lord, as their faith is being stretched this week, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that so will their hunger and their thirst for you, that it will not just be what it used to be, but I pray that it would just increase, that it would multiply in the name of Jesus so that they can hunger and thirst after you, after your righteousness. Lord, we know those who hunger and thirst after righteousness will be filled. And so we bless each person tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you so much. Elise, I saw that comment. I love you so much. Tiffany, thank you so much. We are so excited. I'm so excited about the goodness of the Lord. I want to testify, testify, testify. Lord, I thank you, Jesus, for caring about us and caring about our teeth. Yes, <laughs> and our little bodies yes, and you Lord. care about everything and you are so good and i love you so much i love you so much yes, hey we love y'all um hi rachel praying for your mama in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you're welcome jordan thank you for thanking us that's so sweet we love y'all what's today tuesday today's Tuesday. So we will, if not before tomorrow night, we'll be back on live stream and at Eyes on Jesus Church tomorrow night. What did she just say? I didn't read. I couldn't read that, that last little comment there. Back and look. Okay. I'll go look at all the comments because if I try to look at it now, I might, um, erase them all. Let's see. How do we see? Praise for Graham. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. In Jesus' name. All right. We love you all so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>